Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Taizai Episode 9. Now, before I get into this review here, I want to preface by saying a couple things first. First off, no, I'm not going to be ripping into this fucking series, because for the most part, this, actually, for really every part, this episode was great. It did its job. It's getting people interested in the series, because... Believe it or not, anime is an advertising market. The only reason anime exists is to advertise the source material. I've heard a lot of people telling me that they they like this enough that they really want to read the manga. So, the anime did its job. Okay? It got people interested in the source because anime is an ad... Like it or not, anime is an advertising... An advertisement medium. So no, I'm not going to be ripping in this episode. This episode was great. However, I do have to say, and I did, I've heard about this, and I did do some research on it too to make sure people weren't completely bullshitting me. And apparently it is true, and it does make me a little bit nervous, because I've said it before and I'll say it again, if there's one thing I do rant on, it is plot holes. I hate plot holes. Okay? And apparently... We're already in Volume 5, which I thought for sure that this tournament was a lot sooner than that in the manga, but apparently not. I, like, I thought for sure that this tournament was a lot sooner than, that, sooner than that, but apparently not. Apparently it's in Volume 5, and apparently we're already in Volume 5, which means they did skip quite a bit since we're already in Episode 9. So if they keep going that route, this is the first thing that makes me kind of nervous. If they keep going that route, then we'll be at ep Volume 10 in like episode 18 and there's 11 like 11 or so volumes in the series in the manga right now so that does make me kind of nervous um like tremendously okay that they're already this far in addition to that they also apparently skipped like two essential chapters i don't remember exactly what's in the chapter but chapters but apparently they're like extremely important or else they'll cause plot holes and I've heard some people tell me that they can't really take it back now but I'm I'm sure they could find a way I mean let's be honest now but I'm sure that they could find a way to, to actually remedy it if they're able to remedy not showing also yet then I'm sure they're able to remedy whatever the hell was in those two chapters. Like, I heard this had something to do with, like, a necklace or something. Like, I'm a manga reader, and I still cannot remember for the life of me what a necklace could have to do with fucking anything. The only thing I could think of is maybe... I th seem to remember uh, Elizabeth having a necklace that her sis older sister Margaret gave to her. But that's about it. I don't really remember that having any significance, but anyways, and that, that being said, I'm aware there is lots of, like, really awesome foreshadowing in the manga, but still. So, this episode, I, I really liked it. I did. It set up lots of really cool things. Probably one of my favorite part, probably my second favorite part in the manga so far was the tournament. Alright, that tournament was actually really good. Granted, I mean, I think they were trying to go for, like, the generic, like, tournament in a shonen battle manga series, and I, I liked others better, like the tuning exams from Naruto, and even the, uh, even, and even the tournament from DBZ or Yu Yu Hakusho, which are uh, more iconic ones, were a lot better than this one, but it was still my second favorite part in the um, a manga so far, because... To me, it re to me, the tournament is really when Taizai started defining what it actually is. All right. To me, the tournament in Taizai is the defining is is the defining arc of the series. Okay. So personally, I'm glad that they're here already. Like, I didn't want to have to wait. Oh, okay. I'll, t I'll tell you that right now. I really didn't want to have to wait. Hopefully, the in hopefully all those volumes that they skipped aren't too important. I don't think they are. Like, except for those like those two chapters apparently. But other than that, I don't think that the, the uh, all those volumes that they skipped are really too important. So let's hope not, because I really didn't want to have to wait for this arc. This arc is fucking amazing. 
my second favorite arc in Taizai. So far, in the Taizai manga so far, my favorite, of course, being the arc that we just recently finished. But anyways, though. So yeah, so overall, I thought it was a pretty good episode. They're, they set they set up the arc. We it started out with a brief fight scene, which ended. It was basically just concluding what happened in the previous episode, and we also got lots of other sins, or not sins, but lots of other holy knights introduced, such as Hendrickson and Dreyfus, and uh, a few others. I don't exactly remember all all of their names, but we did get a lot of other holy knights introduced, which was pretty cool as well. Lots of them which are really bad, going to be really badass later on. Okay, quite honestly. So, overall, tell me your thoughts about this episode in the comment section below. And try to use your fucking brain when you're commenting. And just try to remember what the purpose of anime is to begin with. Like, when people complain, like, and I like to keep saying, I'll make a video about this in the future, definitely, alright? But when people complain... That an anime adaption of a visual novel or a light novel... Well, when they complain that an anime adaption of a visual novel is, isn't is faithful to its source, all I do is laugh and say, well, what, what were you expecting, a fucking hentai? <laughs> but, you know, because visual, visual novels are basically porn games. But when people complain that they don't... That the anime adaption of any source isn't faithful, I have to scratch my head and wonder why they're anime fans to begin with if they don't even know what the purpose of anime is. Which is not to be faithful, it's to advertise the source. End of discussion. Okay? Anime studios don't care about manga, about manga readers. They care about bringing in a new audience for the manga. And that's it. So anyways, Overall, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See, that's what you guys think for watching. Bye-bye.